perfectly elastic oblique collision this mass m1 having velocity u1 is coming from left hand side second mass of m2 is moving along this line with velocity u2 and after collision first mass goes in this direction with velocity v1 and angle theta and second mass goes in this direction with velocity v2 and angle this angle is phi so m1 u1 are provided m2 and u2 are also given values provided values we have to find out v1 v2 and theta and alpha so there are four unknowns so first we'll write equation for conservation of momentum in x direction so for conservation of momentum in x direction momentum of first of mass first mass in x direction is m1 u1 momentum of second mass in x direction is m2 u2 is equal to momentum after collision of this mass is what m1 v1 cos theta and m2 v2 cos phi this is the conservation of momentum for x direction then we have written conservation of momentum for y direction in y direction initial momentum is zero momentum of first object is m1 v1 but upward component is v1 sin theta this component is cos near theta away from theta is sin component m1 v1 sin theta and component of v2 along vertically downward direction is v2 sin phi so m1 v1 sin theta minus because v2 is in downward direction therefore minus m2 v2 sin phi so there are two equations for momentum conservation then for energy conservation initial energy is equal to final energy so there are how many equations three equations but how many variables four variables v1 v2 theta and phi and unless and until one of the variable is provided we cannot calculate other variables three equations and four unknowns so we cannot solve this one of the unknown should be provided then for perfectly elastic oblique collision for perfectly elastic oblique collision of equal masses of equal masses scattering angle is theta plus phi is equal to 90 degrees scattering angle is theta plus phi is equal to 90 the condition is what collision should be elastic and oblique collision should be elastic and oblique collision should be for equal masses and there is another condition u2 should be zero initial velocity of second mass should be zero initial velocity of this mass should be zero then scattering angle this angle of scattering theta plus phi the angle scattering angle is 90 then head on inelastic collision elastic collision is over elastic collision there were two parts perfectly elastic head-on collision and perfectly elastic oblique collision right now next part head-on inelastic collision inelastic collision means what kinetic energy before and after is not same kinetic energy before and after is not same therefore only momentum is conserved not kinetic energy so coefficient of restitution is what this is v2 minus v1 upon u1 minus u2 and conservation of momentum equation is this so if e is provided then we can write this one more equation and equation of e and by solving these two equations we can find out two variables which are v1 and v2 final velocity of first object and final velocity of second object this we can calculate then rebounding of ball in rebounding of ball this is what happens ball is 
left from the height h naught ball is left from the height h naught it hits with the ground and rebounds to height h1 then again it comes and rebounds to height h2 then again it comes and rebounds to height h3 and similarly it performs infinite number of rebounds so we have to find out height in nth rebound this is first rebound second rebound third rebound fourth rebound we have to find out height reached by ball in the nth rebound that height is e raised to 2n into h naught that height is e raised to 2n into h naught 